Hey, what's up, some Bitcoin crew? Today, we've got some next level military tech to dive into. The US Navy just dropped a game changer, the USS Richard M. McCool Jr., LPD-29. Trust me, this San Antonio-class amphibious transport dock is no ordinary warship. It's got the power and versatility to reshape the way the Navy operates around the world. So, let's break it down and see why some folks are saying this ship might even outshine aircraft carriers in certain missions. Let's get to it. Alright, so what is the USS Richard M. McCool Jr. all about? This beast is part of the San Antonio class, specifically, the 13th ship in the series and the last one from the Flight I variants. Fun fact, it's named after Captain Richard M. McCool Jr., a Medal of Honor recipient who showed major heroism back in World War II during the Battle of Okinawa. But here's the kicker, this ship isn't just about legacy. It's designed for today's battles and tomorrow's wars. It's loaded with advanced tech that lets it serve as a sovereign sea base, meaning it's got everything it needs to support Marines, launch advanced landing crafts, and even defend itself against air and surface threats. This thing is the Swiss Army knife of warships, ready for pretty much anything. Now, aircraft carriers are definitely impressive, they're like floating airbases, right? But they're also super expensive to build and maintain, not to mention the huge crews they need to run. That's where ships like the LPD-29 come in. They're smaller, more agile, and way easier to replace if needed. Let's talk specs for a sec. At 684 feet long and 105 feet wide, this thing can carry up to 66 officers and 633 Marines plus all the gear they need for landing missions. We're talking about deploying cutting-edge tech like the MV-22 Osprey, amphibious assault vehicles, and future tech the Marines will use to hit the shore. It's like a mobile military base, ready to spring into action whenever, wherever. But don't get it twisted, just because it's built for transporting Marines doesn't mean it's not locked and loaded for battle. The LPD-29 is armed with two 30mm Bushmaster II cannons for surface defense and rolling airframe missile launchers to keep enemy aircraft at bay. And with room for helicopters, landing craft, and assault vehicles, this ship is built to bring the fight to any shore. And let's not forget the tech on board. During the commissioning ceremony, Navy leaders emphasized the importance of the LPD-29's role in future military operations. This ship is equipped with state-of-the-art systems like the SPY, 6 radar, and next-generation surface search technology. In short, it can see threats coming long before they get close. Whether it's reconnaissance or counter-reconnaissance, this ship is a forward scout and fighter all in one. General C.J. Mahoney of the Marine Corps had a lot to say about this. He described the USS Richard M. McCool Jr. as a shift in how the Navy uses amphibious warships. It's a workhorse but a high-tech one that plays a crucial role in ensuring Marines can conduct a wide variety of missions from the sea. Whether it's deploying landing craft or launching helicopters, this ship is ready to handle it all. Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Lisa Franchetti, backed that up, calling the LPD-29 a key player in America's warfighting strategy. With more of these ships coming in the future, the Navy will have more options to respond to threats, deter conflicts, and, if necessary, fight and win wars. So, what do you think? Could this new wave of amphibious transport docks, like the USS Richard M. McCool Jr., change the game for naval warfare? With a focus on versatility, firepower, and tech, the Navy is making sure it's prepared for anything the future might throw at it. And who knows, maybe these warships could even give those massive aircraft carriers a run for their money in certain scenarios. That's all for today, folks. If you're as pumped as I am about the future of naval warfare, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss an update. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Are we looking at the future of naval dominance with these new ships? Till next time, stay curious, stay informed, and as always, keep riding the wave of innovation. Also remember, peace out.